primary agricultural credit societies is a bit common institution and i guess you have an idea about it but then why are we making a video is what you might be thinking hello guys welcome to ecoholics recently the union budget 2023 has announced a sum of rupees 2516 crore for digitalization of 63000 primary agricultural credit societies which are known as pacs over the next 5 years which makes it important to recall so let's start our journey by recalling what pacs actually are these are village level cooperative credit societies serving as the last link in a three tier cooperative credit structure headed by the state cooperative banks at the state level these provide short term and medium term agricultural loans to the farmers for various agricultural and farming activities but when did pac start its journey so the first primary agricultural credit society was formed in the year 1904 and since then we have been on a rise one thing that we often think is why pacs have been given such a crucial role in indian economy and we found the reason as these points pacs provide small farmers with access to credit to improve their production and increase their income pacs also help to increase the financial inclusion in rural areas pacs have the capacity to extend credit with minimal paperwork within a short time also they encourage farmers to save money which can be used to improve their livelihoods and invest in their farms but after understanding its significance we again encounter with curiosity about why pacs are not working to their potential to which we find that inadequate coverage inadequate resources overdue and npas are the culprit behind this now let's go through about what is the talks about digitalization of pacs it aims at bringing greater transparency and accountability in their operations and enabling them to diversify their business and undertake more activities also to help them become a nodal center for providing various services such as dbt interest subvention scheme crop insurance scheme and inputs like fertilizers as well as seeds in the end i would like to conclude by emphasizing that these more than a century old institutions deserve another policy push and can occupy a prominent space in the vision of atmanirbhar bharat as well as vocal for local of the government of india as they have the potential to be the building blocks of an atmanirbhar village economy